What's going on guys? So this is my latest and newest projector. This is the LG Cinebeam 4K Ultra Short Throw Projector. This is indeed one of the most expensive short throw projector I have personally owned. The one I got before this was the Vava 4K and I was really impressed with the picture and the quality of that short throw projector. So I decided to get this one right here. Now this one costs more than double the Vava 4K when I purchased it, but it is currently on sale right now. So you can save a couple of hundred bucks if you were to get it now. I will leave a link to it in the description box down below if you want to check it out for the sale price. But anyway, guys, as you can see, I have the light in the room currently on, and this is the 6K uh, light. So it is very, very bright, kind of like daytime light. And it is also daytime out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the window as well. Just to let you see, it is daytime, bright light out there, bright lights in here with the light. And as you can see it guys, projector is still showing very, very good. And I'm not surprised because the actual cost of this projector, I am expecting a lot out of it. So, you know, as you can see right now, the picture is 143 inches wide and big and that is diagonally and yes i actually measure it with my measuring tape right there so the biggest size that they recommended is to use it with a 120 inches screen but you know for my purposes i wanted it to be as big the screen bigger the better for me and the quality still shows fine as you can see right here and the projector is currently sitting at 10 inches away from the wall so at 10 inches you will get a 143 inches screen as you can see right now so let's talk about the dimension of the actual projector itself it is pretty big guys so uh, when it comes to the dimension from top to bottom it is 4.25 inches thick and from the front to back it is about 14 inches and from left to right it is about 27 inches so on the back right here you have this little mesh it's kind of like uh, made out of fabric I believe but it's gray and silver looks really really nice and high in quality and this is actually where the uh, speaker is hidden on top right here you have the little LG logo and this is where your actual projecting you know where the picture comes out of and right here you have this manual focus knob so you just kind of turn it to the right to the left or to the right to focus your picture and once you're done simply push it back by the corner right here to lock it back into place now this is one thing i was uh, you know was not really impressed with the uh, manual focus i would prefer the digital keystone uh, focus like in the vava 4k or you know some most of the updated and new projection projector nowadays use digital keystone and i actually prefer that better than this auto uh, you know manual focus so on the side here you have like two fans right here and you actually have some more fans over here and it's pretty quiet to cool down the projector itself and let's see take a closer look at the back of the projector this is where all of your ports are located so of course first of all we have our power input right there and you have two HDMI input and two USB input, which will also charge your device like the uh, Google, uh, what is it? The um, Chromecast stick if you want to use it, but this does have built-in mirror cast. So you can actually play content on your phone, like YouTube videos directly from your phone and shoot it over to this projector without needing to get you a, a Chromecast or anything like that. You also have the optical output, audio output here. Wi-Fi output, USB-C right here, antenna slot right here. And that is pretty much everything you have on the projector itself back there, guys. The one thing I really like about this projector is its user interface, guys. As you can see, this is the home dashboard and that red thing you've been seeing moving around is actually because I've been holding the remote control. So the remote control can be used kind of like a mouse. It is very sensitive and works very well. So you can move the remote control around like that. And as you can see, the red cursor move around according to the movement of your remote control, kind of like the Nintendo Wii somewhere, but this is very, very accurate and works really, really well. And the screen you're seeing right now is the home screen and I barely be on this home screen. That is because if you press the home button on the remote control, at the bottom, this is pretty much everything that you are going to be needing and using. So uh, let's go ahead and head to YouTube. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and shut the window for now since I've already shown you how the picture look and what I'm gonna do next is turn off the lights as well and then you will see the tremendously improved quality in the picture of the projector as you can see right there guys very 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 clear and high in quality now I do not use any type of screen I am simply projecting it onto my white wall and as you can see this is how it looks so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go to search right here and then I'm gonna search for one of my own YouTube videos that way the video don't get flagged so I'm gonna play this one We are going to be talking about the JBL 40 Box 1000 and for the past few years or so I've always been kind of biased because I love the Bose speakers much more than the JBL ones but anyway guys I was really blown away by how good this speaker actually is so before we talk about anything further let's go ahead and let you listen to an audio clip of the JBL 40 Box 1000 <laughs> All right, and next what I want to show you is the quality of the speaker itself. It may be a little difficult for me to tell you, to show you how the audio quality for the speaker is through video, but uh, that's the best I can do. So right now, audio is at 50% volume. And let me go ahead and uh, move this over to the part where it starts having more bass. And I'm going to turn it up to 100. Alright, so audio quality wise guys, the speaker that is built into the projector is decent. So it would work and suffice perfectly well if you're in a room like myself right here, a 11 by 11 foot room. Quality of the speaker will work perfectly fine in the room of this size. But if you have a bigger room or if you want to experience a more cinematic, you know, audio sound, you will need to attach, you know, better, higher and bigger speaker. And that is just um, something that you will probably have to do with all projected anyway. 10, he's about 30, that guy's about 30 pounds. So we are definitely under the weight limit. This thing's supposed to hold over 1,300 pounds. And we are just floating in the backyard of our lake right here. Okay, you might want to stand, sit down, buddy. So he's able to jump up and down. So in conclusion, I do believe this is a very good projector. It has very high quality image, audio quality, Everything works very, very good. However, personally for me, I do prefer the Vava 4K instead of this, mainly due to the price. Again, this costs more than double that of the Vava 4K when I purchase it. But at this moment, when I'm creating this video, it is currently on sale and you can actually grab it for like hundreds cheaper than I got it for. So. If you want to get it for at a discounted price, this is the time to do it and the link will be in the description box down below. But if you don't want to spend a fortune and break your arm and legs, I would highly recommend the Valve 4K and for half the price, it is very, very good. I'll also attach that video in the description as well. That way you can check out the video for the Valve 4K. With all that being said, guys, thanks everyone for watching and I will see you all in the next video.